I met Gene uh, when I was in the U.S. Congress in the late 70s. Uh, Jimmy Carter was president. And you can't understand this book unless you understand the situation as it existed on the ground in the late 1970s. Uh, the Warsaw Pact was on the march. It was developing missiles of an intermediate range that could reach every capital of every European country. Uh, NATO was literally shrinking as the Warsaw Pact nations were building up their capability, both nuclear and conventional. Uh, the Soviet Union was using Cuban surrogates and other surrogates to do their dirty work in Africa, uh, Latin America, and Asia. Uh, the U.S. was in a terrible recession, combined simultaneously with inflation, something the Keynesian economists told us could never really happen because you could manage inflation by using uh, unemployment and you could manage unemployment by a little bit of inflation. And so the country was demoralized to a large extent. Um, and Gene had written this article in commentary. It was read by a candidate from California, the former governor of California, Ronald Reagan. And he asked uh, Richard Allen, soon to be his national security advisor, and George Will, the columnist, to get him together with this brilliant intellectual, um, particularly in foreign policy, Jean Kirkpatrick, who had gone to Barnard College, uh, got her degree, and got a, honor, a, a doctorate from Columbia. And this article just captured uh, Reagan's attention, and he asked to be introduced. Uh, the reason for me that the making war to keep peace is somewhat oxymoronic, or ironic at least, was that she was the author of the aphorism picked up by Reagan as a candidate of peace through strength. Uh, her brother, Jerry Jordan, who is, um, she, Jean was born in Oklahoma. Uh, Jerry, her, uh, I'm gonna say older brother, I hope he's not watching, I think he's older. Um, she has three wonder, she had three wonderful sons, one passed away last year as well. Uh, and uh, she came home one night from a meeting with Reagan. I think it was at George Will's house who organized this dinner party. And uh, Jerry was a Republican and she was a Democrat, a De Humphrey Democrat, a Scoop Jackson Democrat. And uh, Jerry said um, in the kitchen at about 10 or 10.30 at night, who are you gonna support? She said, oh, Ronald Reagan. This is 1980, uh, late 1979, maybe early 1980. She said, Ronald Reagan because he believes in keeping this country at peace through strength. Peace through strength became the motto, the aphorism, the guiding foreign policy uh, lodestar of candidate Reagan and President Reagan 